Russia's war on Ukraine has become a grinding battle of attrition, characterized by a 1,000-kilometer front line and punctuated by an ongoing Russian offensive over a relatively narrow 90-kilometer portion near the eastern city of Lysychansk. On Monday, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared victory in the eastern region of Luhansk, a day after Russian state media claimed the army had driven Ukrainian defenders out of the city of Lysychansk, the last bulwark of resistance in the province. Ukraine's army says that its forces staged a strategic retreat as the city was destroyed. Nonetheless, the capture of Lysychansk represents a victory for Russia, as it now controls all the territory in Luhansk Oblast, as well as half of neighboring Donetsk. Looking forward, the question is whether Russia's military can keep pushing farther into the Donbas, or if a combination of exhaustion and Ukrainian resistance will force it to halt. In April and May, Russian troops drove hard through the rolling countryside to try to capture the nearby city of Slavyansk, with the aim of encircling a large part of Ukraine's army. But soldiers from the 93rd Mechanized Brigade stopped the Russian advance, and since then, Ukrainian forces have been slowly regaining lost territory. Ukraine has not revealed how many of its soldiers have been killed or wounded, but at the height of the battles in Donbas, officials claimed it was losing several hundred soldiers a day. Russia claims it has killed 23,000 Ukrainian soldiers, but those numbers are impossible to verify, as are Ukrainian claims that it has killed more than 35,000 Russian soldiers since the invasion began on February 24. Britain's government, which publishes a daily update on the conflict, has pegged Russian military deaths at about half that. Ukrainian soldiers on the Eastern Front say they have been waiting for the arrival of more weapons provided by Western nations, including Canada. Only then will Ukraine stand a realistic chance of recapturing lost cities such as Izium or those in the Donbas. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.